What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with another Nintendo 64 video game review for you this week. This time, I'm going to be taking a look at GoldenEye 007. This game was developed by Rare and published by Nintendo. The North American release date of August 25th, 1997. This game follows and is based off the movie that was released in 1995 with the exact same name. So, what makes this game so good? Well, for starters, it's got an absolutely fantastic story, which of course follows the movie. Which starts off with James and 007, Alec Trevelyan, working together until he becomes, spoiler, killed by Ormov, the Russian general. Only to, spoiler, James has to later hunt down a crime syndicate group known as Janus. Now, I won't get all the elements of the story. If you want to, watch the movie. It's a good film. But next, let's get the elephant out of the room first and talk about what I think this game's probably most likely well known for, the multiplayer. So what makes this multiplayer so good? Well, first off, you've got 11 fantastic levels, all of which are unique in how they play depending on the game mode. Then, of course, all the different tuning settings that you can have with how long you make the level, how many players do you want it to be, two, three, or four. I mean, this game's just fantastic in four-player first-person shooting. And then, of course, the different weapon loadouts that you can use. Anyone ever play Slappers only? Or my personal two favorite, which are automatic and power weapons. Next, of course, we get all of these wonderful characters that you can use. And I know in most tournaments, most people, when they play this game, the most often, this lovely little character down here by the name of Aja, because of his small hit detection box, was often banned or not allowed, or everyone just tried to pick him. And I think most people did not use Jaws just because his hitbox was so much bigger. So like I said, this game really kind of put first-person shooting overall just on the map. In fact, it still feels influenced today with games like Call of Duty, Halo, and maybe even to a lesser degree, Minecraft. But why else is this game so good? Well, we got wonderful spread in the single player of 18 levels that can be played on Agent, Secret Agent, or Double O Agent. And if you can clear through all of these levels on Secret Agent, you get to unlock this nice, lovely little Aztec level. And now if you clear through every single one of the levels on Double O Agent, then you get to unlock Egyptian. Oh, and oh, what a fun level that is. But, okay, so it's got a bunch of good levels. Well, okay, plenty of games can have lots of levels. That doesn't necessarily make it good. Well, on top of having all the wonderful levels, it's got tons and tons of great weapons. 20 of them, to be precise, such as pistols, SMGs, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, hunting rifles, throwing knives, submachine guns, machine guns. I mean, this game just has it all. You name it, this game's got it. Such as this SMG that you see me using now, or the weapon that I just picked up, which is the AR-33 assault rifle. One other thing, fun thing about this game is that on the majority of the levels, you can actually try to play them from a more, if you want to just go in all guns blazing and try to blow everyone away, you could do that. Or some levels might require a bit more of a finesse and maybe stealthy approach. But it'd be hard to play through all these levels and have a lot of fun if your controls weren't terrible, right? Well, thankfully, that's where this game's absolutely fantastic. Flawless controls, you use the red bumper to aim. See if we can get the wonderful little pistol, speaking of. Use the C buttons. To allow you to aim, strafe sideways, look up, look down. But even more so than just that, the overall controls, even for as many people that may say that the Nintendo 64 controller handles so strangely, well, no worries in this game. It works wonderfully. But 
beyond just the controls, why else is this game so good? Well, as I mentioned previously, it's got plenty of weapons. So there's a lot of replay value of the yin yang with the various guns that you use and the approaches that you can try to take in this game. Now, what I believe to be one of the best areas of this game is actually the music and sound effects. I mean, I don't think that this game's music actually gets enough love as it should. I wouldn't say that it's the best in the Nintendo 64, but it's definitely solid throughout. It's got some really good tra tracks that can kind of help you just get lost in the overall atmosphere of the game. Each level and each track feels unique. And likewise, the sound effects are some of the most iconic around, whether it's, you know, the sound of the guns reloading, or the bullets, or the explosions when you blow up a crate. So, this game's got wonderful sound effects and wonderful music. As I, and I will repeat again, easily top 10 on the console. But, beyond just the sound effects and music, why else is this game so good? Well, the wonderful other little neat feature that Rare decided to add into this game is every single level actually has a special cheat that can be unlocked. Which means that if you beat the game on a specific difficulty, and you complete it fast enough, you get to unlock a wonderful little cheat menu, which I will show everyone right here. Just wanted to show off a little bit of gameplay for this review. That was Caverns. So, if you complete certain missions in quick enough time, such as one that I've just recently featured on a Time Trial Tuesday episode, feel free to check that out, you get this wonderful little menu. And now, Talk about adding even more replay value. You want to make the game even harder? Give all your enemies rockets. And make them fast. Or turn off the radar for some multiplayer, for example. You want to make the game easier? Huh. Just give them gi giant head mode and give yourself the double uh, golden gun or the magnum and blow everybody away. So it definitely just adds replay value up the yin yang, depending on which level you feel like playing. Now, one note though, that I will mention is if you go into the cheat codes and you decide to turn some of these on, such as, we'll show off a couple right here real quick for you. And we'll do the Magnum and the laser, so that's always a fun one. Whoop, wrong button. Sorry, everybody, give me just a second here. And I will show off a couple of these wonderful little cheats, personally. DK mode, which is giant heads, and paintball mode was always my favorite. Ooh, and of course, turbo mode, so you can really get through levels quick. And we'll go to a personal favorite level of mine. Train, Ooh, one of my favorite. And since I know this game is so popular, do you have a game that you love? Do you have a level or game mode that you prefer the most that you used to always play with your friends? Feel free to comment down below and let me know. Paintball mode. I was always paintball mode and DK mode where I was my go-to cheats. So, as I was just about to say, the ability to have all the cheats on top of the having to go through and defeat the game on all the different difficulties, and of course, trying to get all the cheats themselves just creates tons of replay value. In this game. Oh yeah, let's slice and dice some people up with knives. Anyone ever go through a bunch of levels and just try to do this? So, why else is this game so good? Well, like I said, great music, great sound effects, tons of replay value, whether it's single player, multiplayer, tons of weapons and power-ups, over 20 of them total. Great controls, which is fully and well uses the C buttons. And it's not even the icing on the cake. It follows the movie of the story, the story of the movie, which adds even more value. So, as I said, if you don't already own this game, I highly recommend you go out and pick it up. And if you do, well, fire it up again. Try to get some of your buddies together, get a four player match going, and have a blast. Thanks for watching everybody, until next time.